Well, Leland and Julie, Superintendent Camera says there could be some things that come out in a third party investigation that RPS was unaware of, so he invites this additional scrutiny. Now, despite some skepticism from school board members, he maintains that the district has been transparent and forthcoming with information in this investigation. I welcome it. I'm like, the more eyes on this, the better. Richmond Superintendent Jason Cameras says he supports the school board's decision to task his administration in seeking a third party investigation into the Huguenot graduation day shooting and the school district's decisions and processes leading up to it. We aren't perfect, and if we made mistakes, we got to fix them and be better the next time for our kids. So, yeah, I actually think it's a great thing. The idea was spearheaded by Representative Dr. Shonda Harris Muhammad and approved by a majority of the board last week, with only two members opposed. We cannot, nor can the superintendent police ourselves. Now, Cameras has already presented the board with an internal review of the incident, which did include corrective action plans and recommended policy changes. However, multiple board members said that they were skeptical of his findings and accused Cameras of hiding information. We need to ensure that there is no negligence on the part of the district. We could have received more detailed reporting on the Altria. It originated at the school. We do have people that was affected in that school and they know how this started. It just didn't start at graduation. What are we hiding? But Cameras is strongly pushing back against that assertion. I'm gonna be absolutely clear. The administration, I'm not hiding anything, everything we have. I am giving to the board everything that can be public, I will make public. Again, my goal is to shine light on what happened so we can learn and get better, period, end of story. Specifically, the board wants a full review of the graduation day security and operation protocols and a breakdown of procedures for homebound students. Sean Jackson, the 18-year-old Huguenot graduate who was killed in the shooting, was on homebound services at the time, meaning he was not permitted on school grounds or at school-sponsored activities. An email we obtained shows that part of the reason that Jackson was homebound was due to the threat of neighborhood violence stemming from his association with another student that was involved in a crime. So some board members question why he was approved to attend graduation. Would you say that the school did have awareness that there was a safety concern associated with this student? First of all, I can't talk about kids given privacy information, so um, that one I'm going to have to have to hold off on. I'm sorry. In this situation, an internal report shows that a school employee authorized Jackson's attendance at graduation. But moving forward, Cameras wants to tighten those protocols. We are digging into that as I even shared with the board. I made some recommendations too about how we can be better on that to make sure that principals review every single candidate themselves, sign off if there are any questions. It gets elevated uh, to our chief of secondary education. The superintendent acknowledges that there may be information that surfaces in a third party investigation that RPS missed. Do you have any sense right now that RPS would even bear any responsibility in what unfolded? I'm going to leave that one to the lawyers. I, I, I don't believe so, but um, I'm not a lawyer, so I can't say definitively. Now, by October, Cameras must present two potential companies that could complete this outside investigation. And at this point, board members have not yet identified a cost estimate for this effort. Here outside the Altria Theater, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.